the cause of a centroretinal vein occlusion lies in the close relationship that exists between an artery which brings oxygenated blood into the eye and the vein which drains blood out of the eye. Because both are so close to each other in a narrow space, if an artery hardens, it can compress the vein. If this happens, a clot can form in the central retinal vein. Once present, a clot can obstruct the vein, stopping the flow of blood out of the eye, which therefore limits the supply of blood into the eye. The insufficient supply of blood to the retina causes the release of VEGF, stimulating the growth of tiny, weak blood vessels throughout the eye. These new blood vessels are also at risk of hemorrhage and may cause other complications such as neovascular glaucoma. In its early stages, a vein occlusion can cause the vessels in the back of the eye to become dilated and tortuous as the pressure increases in the blocked vein. If the pressure gets high enough, the vessel walls can rupture and blood can leak into the retina. In addition to bleeding, serum, the fluid consisting of small proteins and lipids, can also seep into the retina. This resulting leak can lead to macular edema, a cause of visual distortion or visual loss.